Hello, valued viewers. I hope you are all doing very well. Today, we're going to look at the Mark 82 General Purpose 500 pound bomb. The F4 can carry up to 24 of these 500 pound bombs, with six on the outer wing pylons, three on the inner wing pylons, and six more in the center line. Now, let's have a look at the arming menu. Press backslash to bring the menu up, press F8 to go to the ground crew options, and press F1 for rearm refuel. In this menu, we can see that stations 1, 5, and 9 can be loaded with 6 Mark 82s, and stations 2 and 8 can be loaded with 3. The bombs can further be configured by clicking on the yellow triangle. The nose fuse and tail fuse types can be changed. The arming delay can be set for both fuses and we can change the appearance between USAF and US Navy. Each bomb station can be configured with a variety of different options for the Mark 82. For stations two and eight, we can configure the special weapons adapters that will allow us to carry two Mark 82s, but also allow Sidewinder heat-seeking missiles to be mounted on the same pylon. When choosing three, that is no longer possible. Now, let's jump in the cockpit and look at some additional settings. For this demonstration, I plan to use direct bombing. However, Heepler has added a handy bombing table to help with the calculations on where to set the targeting reticle. Press right control and B to bring up the bombing table. Fill in the bombing table for the particular mission. So this is direct. We're using Mark 82s. For this case, I plan to fly in at 400 knots. So change this to 400 and I want to release 3,000 feet above my target. However, here, the height is specified in MSL. So press F10, go to the F10 map. My target is in the Nevada test range, and the target building is at 3,560 feet. So 3,000 feet above that is 6,560. And then set the target elevation, or altitude, 3,560, and my dive angle, for this I will use 45. Once you enter those properties, the calculator will come up with a calculation for your site depression. So to use this bombing table, we will fly in these parameters. We will set our site depression to 71 mils, and then we will drop our bombs in a string across our target. The pattern and saved solutions are other options because we're using direct the pattern is not controlled from within the bombing table and save solutions gives you the ability to create multiple versions and it will save with the settings and the mills depression to close the bombing table press right control and b or click on the x in the upper right hand corner once we are in flight we will use these bomb controls or this control panel on the left side of the dash in order to configure our weapons we will change weapon select to bombs we will change the delivery mode to direct. We can specify the interval between the bombs here, and here we will use the 0.1 second option. We are not going to change the multiplier, and we will set this to continuous. That way when I press the pickle button, the bomb release button, the bombs will continuously fall off of the stations at an interval of 0.1 seconds. Prior to release, we will also specify each of the pylons we want to use in this run. In this configuration, all of the pylons are currently carrying bombs, so I would select each of the stations, as well as master arm, and change the gun sight to air to ground with the proper mills depression. To release the bombs, we will use the bomb button, which defaults to right alt and space. Okay, let's get this show on the road. As we approach the bombing range, I will set the autopilot up, and then we will configure our weapons. One thing I forgot to mention before is the arming, arm nose and tail. Now I will select my stations. My bombs and the direct method are still selected, continuous is still here. I will turn on the master arm, go to air to ground, and set my cage or my mills depression to 71. 
Now I will attempt to roll in at 45 degrees and 400 knots, and we'll see how I do. Remembering I want to aim ahead of the target. A little bit off the side, but perfectly on in the middle of the bomb string. 